The Dial Bach is one of my favorite Stillwater fly patterns. I've got a version that really works well when Calabatus nymphs are on the menu. Hello everyone, I'm Phil Rowley and welcome to my YouTube channel and to my fly tying bench. You know, the D.L. Bach is one pattern that I think needs to be in every still water fly box. It has a ton of variations and can be adapted to fish every insect from coronamids to one of my favorites, Calabatus nymphs. This pattern, this version, features one of my favorite dubbing materials, hare's ear. It's probably a version that's been done by thousands of other tires, but if you wanted something simple, the next time fish are focused on Calabatus, give this hare's ear D.L. Bach a try. Let's tie my hare's ear D.L. Bach. So into the vise, it's a Daiichi 1530 12. I like the, this is a two extra heavy um, wet fly hook. You could also tie it in 14s, but it's standard shank, so you can use a bigger hook to represent. This is a fly I use most often when Calabatus nymphs are active, but it also could pass as a scud too. So I'm going to use some hot pink, fluorescent pink tying thread, 70 denier in this case. Just get that started, trim away the excess, and just get a good base of thread down the shank. And then I'm going to come back up to about the midpoint, just forward of the hook point, and we're going to tie in a tail. And for the tail, we're going to use some... Coque de Lyon. This is a whiting tailing pack in dark pardo. Um, you could certainly use dyed done. There's lots of different options. I just like the contrast of the dark. So I'm just going to take, um, isolate. These are pretty narrow fibered um, feather. So I'm going to take uh, probably eight or ten here and just remove them from the stem. And then I want to tie in a nice gathered tail that's about the shank length long. So that's the measurement I want. I'm going to transfer it to the back, put a couple of wraps on to hold it in place, and I can check my tail for measurement. If it's too long, I can just gently pull on it. I think that's pretty good there. I've got just gather everything up, and now I just work the thread back and secure the tail in place. And as I get near the, the bend of the hook, I reduce the tension ever so slightly on my thread just so I don't accidentally flare that tail wildly. I want to keep it somewhat nice and gathered and then bring that all the way up, creating a nice smooth foundation for my underbody. And I'll come in and just gently trim away the excess, cover those butts up. And then for the ribbing, I'm going to use some crinkle mirror flash. You could use a single strand of pearlescent uh, mylar or, or crystal flash. You could use some sulky, but I really like the way this crinkle mirror flash in pearl uh, works. Just a nice beautiful iridescence. And we're just going to take a single strand and I'm going to hold that up along the side of the hook, the near side, the side closest to the camera here, and pull back on that slightly and just bind that all the way down. All the way down like so to the base of the tail. And then we're going to come back up again. Just cover everything up. And I'm going to tie in the fibers for my beard. So I'm just going to come in with the same Coque de Leon feather and take off a clump that is of similar volume to the tail. And we're just going to turn this around. And I've got my tying thread right at the hook eye. Can't go any further, she'll fall right off. And then I'm going to come in and tie this on top. And I'm not liking those, they're a little ratty. So if you don't like what you've got, there's lots of material left on this feather, I can go get a less ratty looking clump like so. And again, what I'm doing is I'm just with any feather, if I pull those fibers out perpendicular to the stem, they will even up and be nice and, and gathered like so. So we're just going to remove those. 
reposition them in my hand and tie them tips out about the same length as just a loose wrap over top. Again, I can adjust them for length a little bit, pull back on them, and I get a nice good purchase so they won't pull out. And just secure those back. Again, building up a little bulk, I can come back and I'll trim these off on a bit of an angle. Induces a subtle taper. And get down near the, the base of the, the bend of the hook at the base of the tail. And then the body is simply hair's ear. This is an old package of hair's ear plus. So you could use just natural hair's ear. This is a mixture of, look at the price on that, you know it's old. Um, mixture of Antron and hair's ear. I'm just going to take a little pinch out. And I like to moisten my fingers a little bit. And I'm just going to make a very, very slender, thin dubbing noodle. So good firm pinch rolling in one direction. I'm just going to make a short manageable dubbing noodle. If I need to add more dubbing, I will just add it to the thread when I need it, as opposed to trying to make one long dubbing noodle, noodle rather that's ungainly, tough to control. And of course, then you've got to pull the extra dubbing off. I want to keep this nice and neat and organized. So I've got a, a dubbing noodle that's about, you know, a couple inches. And then we'll just dub a nice slender body from the base of the tail. Close touching turns all the way up. So this pink will radiate through a little bit, but also I just like the little pink hot spot. Again, we're just trying to make our flies perhaps look a little different, stand out in the crowd. And, and I just... To be honest, I just decided to tie the original prototype of this with a pink head because it looked interesting to me to do so. And a little bit of taper. Don't crowd that hook eye. In fact, I'm going to unwind that a little bit. I'm going to remove some of that. Uh, unravel this a little bit. And this is the beauty of being in control. If you don't like it, back up and adjust it until you do like it. So I don't want to crowd the head. Still want a little bit of pink there. And then we're going to come through with our mirror flash, crinkle mirror flash rib, and just open spirals. I'm not really looking for any kind of abdominal accuracy as far as body segments. This is just, again, a little more flash to stand out. We're going to tie this off once, twice, Fold that back, a couple of wraps, trim away our excess. And now we're just going to take this, I'm going to bring the thread up vertically. I'm going to take our beard, and I'm just going to, without hooking myself too badly, just sweep everything down and under. And tie that beard back like that. I find this way much easier to do a beard. It gets centered more or less underneath like so, and I don't have to try and tie it in in a very tight space because I've got that hook eye. You can see a slightly oversized head. I'm going to spin the bobbin counterclockwise to flatten the wraps. A little bit of brushable super glue on that flattened thread. A couple of wraps to get that glue into place, and then a quick three to four turn whip finish, like so. And trim away the excess. And your little hair's ear deal back is done. Very simple, looks like everything and nothing. Won't take you too long to put a few of these in your fly box. Very simple fly. Great when the calabatus are active.